garden, garden the building, but wow, isn't that be in an old western Texas town. Hey sightseers, Sightseen Sally here, and Marty, who's being camera shy once again. We're wandering aimlessly in the background. One of the two things he likes to do. Anywho, we're checking out a historic town in Texas, otherwise known as Weatherford, AKA the birthplace of J.R. Ewing. Just kidding. It's really not the birthplace of J.R. Ewing, but it is the birthplace of the actor, Larry Hagman, who played J.R. in the TV show Dallas. Now, if you don't know what Dallas is, well, can't help you there. Obviously, you're a lot younger than me. We're checking out Weatherford. There's some really cool things here to see. It's a really old historic town in Texas, and we just wanted to check out the historic landmarks here and see the statue commemorating Larry Hagman. But we'll get, to get into that here shortly. See, back in 1858 when Weatherford was first incorporated, it was a principal frontier town in Northern Texas. And this historic building is on the National Register of Historic Places. And it's just magnificent. It's one of the most photographed courthouses in Texas, from what I understand. And it's just beautiful. As it just so happened, we parked right next to a historical marker. Talking about this building, it was the Citizens National Bank back in the day. And look at this cool architecture. Is still standing here in Weatherford. I believe it's an attorney's office today. Yeah, it's the county attorney's office now. But this was the first national bank when it was first built. In 1885. Over here in this building, just telling Marty how it reminds me of like those old time uh, shops where you would at Christmas time be able to walk up and see the displays, the Christmas displays. They've got this really cool Christmas tree in here with the nor North Pole, the elves, and probably Rudolph laying down there at the foot of the tree. But that's what it totally reminds me of. Something you'd see probably in like downtown Chicago or New York at like a Macy's or something where they'd have the displays at Christmas. It was really cool. Looking across the street, we can see the buildings here in the historic district of Weatherford have what I would expect to see in an old Western Texas town. They are made of brick and they've got those kind of those false fronts on them. And then if you look, the building over in the corner there, off in the distance, that one has more of a Southwestern Native American flair to it. So peeking in the windows here at this old building, this antique store, it's interestingly enough, they offer ghost tours on Saturday nights at eight. And they will provide equipment for, you know, testing for paranormal activity, which is kind of interesting. And then if you look, there's a mummified head. I don't know if that's really a mummified head or just made to look like one. And then they've got a cannon, just like the one that Marty's got, except smaller. I think you did a video on it, didn't you? Or me shooting it at one point? Um, I did show it on my Instagram. If you didn't know, I do have an Instagram. It's called the original Sightseeing Sally because somebody else had taken Sightseeing Sally. And on there for the 4th of July, I showed Marty shooting off the cannon. Check out that really cool old Westinghouse sign. It says, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Westinghouse back in the day made appliances and televisions. 
Then, I don't know if you know this, they expanded into the nuclear industry of all things. And so Westinghouse started with appliances and TVs and then moved on to bigger and better things by building turbines. Yep, turbines for nuclear power plants. Really cool, if you ask me. Looks like we've got the old Tin Man guarding Bennett's office supply. What do you make of that? The building looks like a castle. That's what we look at it. It's got the rounded corners and the, the, the picket top. Oh yeah, Did it you... does look like a castle. So maybe that's the whole point of it is it's a castle for office people. The king of office supply, and that's the castle. There you go. See, I figured it out. And you all thought Marty was just another dumb hick from the north woods of Wisconsin. <coughs> One thing I've noticed is here in Weatherford, if you don't look up, you're gonna miss out on all the cool architecture and neat little features here. Now well, if you can see Mr. Owl, Mr. Who Owl, sitting up there guarding, guarding the building. But wow, isn't that really just cool? And look at that, it's just such really neat architecture here on this building. Marty's checking out the old Cotton Breton Furniture Company building. Look at that, that is really cool. And I'm wondering if perhaps at one time they sold caskets or made caskets here because it says Cotton Bratton Furniture Company Funeral Directors. I'm thinking I would need a step ladder to get into this truck. I mean, look at, if I step down here, well, that thing is like way taller than I am. At least I wouldn't need a step stool to get into this truck. This is where the fight originated between Ford, Chevy, and Dodge over whose vehicles were the best. Over here I found something really interesting considering we've been following a little bit on Route 66 on this trip. This talks about the Bankhead Highway which was actually the nation's first all-weather coast-to-coast -coast highway and there was a section in Texas a uh, route from Texarkana to El Paso it's Texarkana so in other words I pronounced it wrong you pronounced you... it wrong you are a disgrace to Texas leave a comment if you believe that so that's kind of interesting I mean Everybody always thinks about Route 66 being the mother road of all roads for cross-country trips. And this actually talked about the original, the original mother road. It would be the Bankhead Highway. Over here, we've got Eb proposing to Betty Lou and Old Man Johnson taking his stuff to market. Now that's a mural. Something I've noticed here in Texas is that Texas really seems to do an awesome job with pointing out historical features in its old historic towns. Like over here, you've got this historical building called the Merchants and Farmers State Bank, and they've got a placard here commemorating that. But also what I've noticed is as we've been driving through Texas itself is that along the highways, off the sides there are tons of historical markers so texas has done a really awesome job of pointing out its history and if you just take the time to stop look around either get out walk around in some of these old historic towns or stop along the way at the highway markers you'll be really surprised at some of the things you'll learn about texas we're pretty much back to where we started. We have one more stop, and that's to find the Larry Hagman statue. Well, we found him. This is Larry Martin Hagman, most notably known as J.R. Ewing, star of Dallas show back in the 80s. 
huge show. Kind of larger than life for this historic town, this historic Texas town. I didn't recognize him at first. I mean, from a distance, I had a hard time uh, making the connection with that being Larry Hagman, but when you get up close, you can kind of see, kind of tell that that was JR back in the day. I mean, I think it's really cool. He grew up here. His mother, Mary, was a huge Broadway star, which I didn't know. I think I said that earlier in the video. Uh, they have a statue commemorating her because she played Peter Pan on Broadway. And they have a Peter Pan statue. I believe it's over at the library. But we wanted to come over and um, say hi to Larry, JR. Kind of, kind of cool. Fancy. Well, sightseers, hope you enjoyed walking around this historic town in Texas. Make sure you give me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the vid. They are free. And when you subscribe to my awesome channel, make sure you hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future vids. Until next time, this is Sightseeing Sally. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hi. Hey, kitty. What you doing up here? Well, Marty was scoping this out ahead in this tobacco shop, Cigars and Tobacco Lounge. Apparently has cats inside. Hanging out. Wow. Oh, it was on the collar. Kids, he's so cute. Hey. Is the place open or is it closed? Well, I guess we're gonna go on inside and check out check out the cigar shop with the cats, the live cats. Aww. Hey, kitty. historic Texas town must be cat friendly. This is the third cat we've seen today. Oh, he looks so snuggly.